Name, Rokuro Kubi. Alias, The Long Neck Woman. Type, Japanese Yokai. Origin, Japanese urban legends in the Edo period. Power slash ability, stretch their neck. Hobby, sucking blood of victims as they sleep at night or drinking oil from lanterns. Goals, to feed. Weakness, leaves their body vulnerable for attack. Description, Rokuro Kubi is a type of Japanese yokai. They often appear in classical kaiden and essays, and they are often the subject of yokai depictions, but it has also been pointed out that they may have simply been created as a pastime for inventing supernatural stories. History, tales of when people sleep, their necks would stretch started appearing in the Edo period. This type of Rokuro Kubi comes from legends that say that the Rokuro Kubi or Nuke Kubi have a spiritual string-like object connecting the head to the torso, and it can be said that this type originates from people mistaking the string for an elongated neck. There is a tale of a certain female student was suspected to be a Rokuro Kubi, and when this servant's master went to check on her when she was sleeping, something like steam gradually rose from her chest, and when it became quite thick, her head would disappear, and right before one's eyes, her appearance turned into one with her neck risen up and stretched. Perhaps because she noticed the presence of her surprised master, when the female servant turned over in bed, her neck returned to normal. This female servant was ordinary and other than the fact that she had a pale face, she was no different from an ordinary human, but her master dismissed her. She was always fined wherever she went, and thus had no luck with finding places of employment. In a book by a popular writer in the late Edo period, Rokuro Kubi are stated to be from humans karma. A certain monk named Kaishin and a woman named Oyotsu eloped, but since Oyotsu collapsed due to illness, and since they ran out of money for the journey, he killed her. Afterwards, when Kaishin returned to secular life, when he and a girl of an inn he stayed at became attracted to each other and slept together, the girl's neck stretched and her face turned into Oyotsu, and told him about her resentment. Kaishin became regretful of the past, and spoke about everything to the girl's father. When he did so, the father said that he also killed a woman in the past and stole her money, and used the money to start that in, but the girl that was born afterwards, due to karma, naturally became a Rokuro Kubi. Kaishin once again entered Buddhist priesthood, and built a grave for Oyotsu, and it is said to be the Rokuro Kubi mound, telling the story to people afterwards. In the bunker period, a Kaiden story became popular, where a certain prostitute ghost left with guests, and when the guest fell asleep, her neck would smoothly stretch and would lick the oil of paper lanterns, and thus Rokuro Kubi were talked about as things that women transform into like this, or a type of strange disease. Even going into the Meiji period, there are tales of Rokuro Kubi. In the beginning of Meiji, it is said that a certain couple of a merchant family in the town of Shibaya, Ibaraki, Osaka Prefecture witnessed their daughter's neck stretch every night, and there was no effect even when upon relying on Shinto and Buddhism, and eventually the people in the town also came to know of this, and as the couple became unable to endure staying there, they moved away, leaving no notice of their whereabouts, 